students uh, today we are going to study the experiment of uh, sonometer we have the apparatus of sonometer here if you have a look at the apparatus i find that this rectangular hollow wooden box is called sonometer it has got a wire attached to one of its ends this wire is allowed to pass over two knife edges over this pulley and on the other end i can attach some weights to that and the weights can be increased or decreased as per our requirement so we have got slotted weights of 500 g each and you can increase or decrease weights in this by using this particular experiment called sonometer or this instrument of sonometer we can verify laws of vibrating string first law second law and also we can determine the unknown frequency by using this apparatus called sonometer now if you have we have got this list of instruments this sonometer box knife edges i have got few paper riders with me i have got a meter scale half meter scale there is a rubber pad which i can use to strike these tuning forks i have got different tuning forks here and specifically i have arranged them all in the descending order of frequency this first one being 512 the highest one 480 426 341 we have 320 and 288 so these are all the different tuning forks that we are having now as i start performing the experiment we will keep our focus only to verify the first law of vibrating string that is to verify that the fundamental frequency of transverse vibrations of a stretched wire is inversely proportional to the vibrating length of the wire or in general mathematical way of saying is that n is inversely proportional to l or nl is equal to constant now let's come on to performing of this experiment i have kept a constant weight here that is 1500 g is fixed we have two knife edges and in between these two knife edges i have kept a paper rider generally what happens is when i force vibrations into this wire when i strike this tuning fork and i place it here this box starts vibrating with the forced frequency of this 512 hertz and the wire also starts vibrating with that when the frequency of this particular wire between the two knife edges is matching with the frequency of the tuning fork at that time we will have exactly one stationary loop is going to be formed which we cannot see but the paper rider will be able to sense it the paper rider will then start flutter with uh, it will then starts uh, fluttering maximum amplitude and ultimately the paper rider can even fall down even if paper rider doesn't fall it will give you very nice long lasting vibrations i have specifically chosen a tuning for i have specifically chosen a paper rider which is quite larger in length so now let's concentrate on to this i'm striking the highest frequency tuning for keeping the vibrating length minimum and as i start doing it i am slowly increasing the length of the or the distance between these two knife edges i find that the paper rider then starts slowly vibrating and for certain length you will find that very nice vibrations will be seen i guess we are somewhere near that the paper rider has actually been thrown off we will try to see whether it is really falling because of the vibrations induced in it it has vibrated it is once again seen that it's vibrating though it's not falling down but you can see long lasting vibrations in this and this can be actually taken as the vibrating length i can just try to find yes it has fallen now what i can do is i can actually find what is the length of this wire vibrating in unison with the tuning fork and i find from one i'm starting so it's 20.2 it means overall the length is equal to 19.2 cm so for this 512 i find 
the vibrating length has become 19.2 cm uh, we can find l1 l2 and mean l then i go to the next tuning fork that is 480 hertz we have here so this 480 tuning fork i'll strike it and i find for the same length the paper writer doesn't fall down i have to slightly increase this length and find such a suitable length for which the paper writer once again flutters and falls down you can see it is jumped actually it has jumped and fallen down i'll check it once again whether the paper writer falls for this length of course it is jumping i can measure once again what that length is and from this point to this point now i find it is 21.7 so it's actually 20.7 so 20.7 is the vibrating length or length in unison corresponding to that 480 uh, that much similarly i can take the third next lower frequency tuning fork it's 426 i start repeating the experiment in a similar manner and i find for what length this paper rider is actually falling off it has fallen here for this length once again, I'll check whether it actually falls for the same length. It has jumped once again. So I find I can measure this length as well. It's found to be 22.8. It is the net length is 22.8. In the similar fashion, you can actually start performing the experiment for different tuning forks for five or six different tuning forks you can perform this experiment and find what are the corresponding lengths for which the paper rider actually falls down and find out what is the product n into l in each case and you will find that this value of nl turns out to be a constant value which verifies the first law of vibrating swing so you can start performing this experiment there is possibility that the value of nl is not going to be exactly constant there are certain reasons behind that there are so many stray errors that can come into this particular experiment uh, one being the measurement of length the most important thing is that whenever we use these tuning forks over larger time the tuning forks they are used by different people and they start vibrating with different frequency than what is actually written on that so you may have slight variation in the values of nl so that's how you can perform